Hello friends. Today will be the first segment of a project we will be embarking on together on this channel of things. Here we have a riding lawnmower that out of my collection of things I have uh, traded a small engine for. But the only thing is this has no engine in it. Well, what do we do with that? got a five and a nine and a half horse Briggs. I think we're gonna use a nine and a half, put an intake up on here on that thing so it looks cool. Maybe a set of pipes. And we are gonna turn this riding lawnmower, drop lower it, cut it, and everything else into a go-kart. Should be pretty sweet. What do you think, Levi? Hashtag whoa. Hashtag whoa? I like it. All right, people, you like the video. Hashtag whoa in the comments. All right, so the goal for this, we have the brake here. Seems to be all in place to the back. Keeps it from stopping. We'll utilize the brake, wheels, maybe the front axle. We're going to utilize the steering system. We're going to have to modify that a bit. The seat, the back fenders, we're going to plug up and weld so we can have some, like, uh, big wheel fenders. We're going to take the seat from here. Drop it down to here and probably recess it back into there a little bit. A little bit of sheet metal work. Welding, machining, some drilling. Boy, she's going to be sick. Maybe keep the cup holder, though. I think that might be uh, decent. Yeah, all right. So after a little while, got, like, the dash thing taken out. The wiring harness. I don't know why I took it out so nicely, but maybe we can use some of that. Doubt it, though. It's got safety features on it. Screw that. We don't have time for safety. Steering wheel. Steering shaft that goes to a gear that goes to the, uh, I guess, tie rod you'd call it, that goes up to the axle to steer. We might try to use that. I've heard they're kind of wobbly on go-karts, but he's six. We're not breaking any land speed records. So I'm going to try to use the diff out of this, or the hydro, as they call it. I'm going to take it like that, turn it 90 degrees, put the motor up here. And have a belt drive going like that chain drive rather i'll switch the sprocket on or pulley on there to a sprocket should be freaking sweet probably stand her up on the back two down the uh, old back 40 there and if it decides to ruin my lawn i guess we'll end up going over to my dad's to use it on second thought maybe we won't chop it maybe we'll drop the seat there put some pedals there yeah what do you think bud good good Probably try lowering it a little though, in case you do some wheelies. You do some live action wheelies. Yeah, good. Well, friends, got her pretty good torn apart for uh, first day. I'm gonna have to do a little research on how hydros work in the rear of tractors because this thing here for the gear shifter has this trusty old piece of rod. I don't know what the hell that does. Moves it from gear to gear, but it doesn't want to seem to grab through. That hydro is bad if we're going to end up straight axle in it. Or I'm just missing something, which I'm pretty sharp, so that would be a big surprise to me. But, until next time. Well, hold on. $7 Manscaper. Still no stubble. Worked great. Until next time. Goodbye, friends.